This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a toolkit for all YouTubers alike. With advanced metrics and functionality within YouTube itself, including things like bulk syndication and other bulk updating tools, TubeBuddy is the best video manager for you. Want to try it yourself? Click the link down below to get a free trial. Also consider signing up for Talency, with TubeBuddy Pro included. Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a new setup tour for the beginning of 2018. I'm going to be showing you all my setup, exactly what I do with my setup, and why it is the way it is. So, how about we just get right into it, shall we? So as you can tell, this is my setup. It is pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to go through and run down and explain some of the stuff that is on my setup. First, we're going to start from right and go to the left. But first, let me talk about the desk. The desk is a IKEA countertop, which I made a video of. You hit the eye in the top right corner I'll put it right here you can check that video out if you want to know more details about exactly how I have this put together it's somewhat of an older video but you can get an idea of exactly how I did it and what parts that I used this desk has lasted me a couple years and I really do enjoy it it's a lot of real estate while it's not the widest desk in the world it does give you a lot of space to do what I need to do and that is having a two PC setup so I'll get into more of that when I get to the secondary PC but first as I mentioned from right to left what we have right here is basically just a little storage area I just put a bunch of random stuff right here whenever I need to I don't know sit easy access stuff like a wallet key stuff like that a pair of scissors headphones a unboxing knife that's just kind of my area we're sitting all that sort of stuff it's kind of just a blank canvas area nothing really special below that we have my first cabinet set and with this cabinet set we have a bunch of different things from top down it's basically a mixture of cords cables and stuff like that I'll go ahead and open up a couple of them for you so you can see what I'm talking about the top one right here is basically just a bunch of essentials quick grab stuff so we got a uh, controller, we got headphones, a like another controller and we have a bunch of other just quick grab stuff that we stick in there my drawers are not very organized as you're going to tell with this one which is basically the scariest drawer of all it's just a bunch of cables this is just quick access to a bunch of cables that I may need from time to time and yeah it's quick access so just, just act like that's not there just don't look at that this one right here is basically my PC building supplies I put a bunch of zip ties for cable management screwdrivers some battery chargers some essential stuff for PC building that is what's located in this drawer and then this drawer below Low is basically a bunch of just I don't even know at this point it, it was supposed to be laptops but it's turned into a little bit of a secret candy drawer with uno cards actually which I was looking for these but now I know where they are and then well, let me get this shut put the stuff back in I really need to reorganize these drawers it's definitely something that's gonna happen in the future but in the very bottom is like my supplement type stuff so I have a bunch of like energy drink formulas and stuff like that that I like to drink I like to drink G fuel and gamer subs which gamer subs is my preferred choice because well they are a sponsor of the channel so definitely consider checking them out if you're interested but I do love my energy supplement drink instead of coffee from time to time so now what we have right here is my PC which a lot of people have been asking about the specs but first let's talk about the top of my PC real quick what we have right here is a lyric thump plushie now I'm a big fan of lyric he's a variety live streamer if you all know who he is you definitely know what this is but he had a run of these plushies and my girlfriend got me one of these and it's actually really awesome and I have them just perched up on my PC and then there's a bunch of other random stuff we have these little guys right here little figurines and then I have a little Pikachu just because I want to fill up the top of my PC and just make it look kind of cool you know just all about that personality style stuff but now as I sit down I can show you all my main PC now my PC consists of a Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.8 gigahertz 16 gigabytes of DVR4 RAM and a GTX 1080 all in my custom Kentucky Wildcats themed PC case which I made a video of as well all these videos that I mentioned will be on the top right corner if you are interested but this PC has done me really well the GTX 1080 is awesome Ryzen is great for video editing and streaming and I really can't be more happy with it Eventually, I may upgrade my GPU with Volta coming out, and whatever the Ryzen refresh ends up being, if we get review samples, I'll probably throw it into this PC and see how it does and use it for testing, but I'm very happy with this system, and I really don't see a need to upgrade. The one thing I will upgrade, though, whenever and if ever it gets better, is RAM, because 16 gigabytes of RAM for my video editing workflow, especially with 4K video, is starting to be a little bit lackluster, and I really may need to upgrade at some point in the future, but right now, I can't justify buying more RAM dims, and the Gil RGB RAM that I have isn't sold anymore so it's very difficult to find RAM dims that are somewhat affordable using the same RAM without having to just buy a 32 gigabyte kit so kind of in a tough spot right now but eventually that will be something that is upgraded now from right to left I have a couple of storage drives right here first these are both from Seagate this is the LaCie 8 terabyte Thunderbolt 3 external hard drive and a Seagate 8 terabyte 
a, it's like it's a hub hard drive. I'll leave a bunch of links for all the parts and stuff that I mentioned in this video in the description down below if you're interested. But both these are eight terabyte drives. I really don't use the black one much anymore. The silver one is my main storage drive because it has Thunderbolt 3 and it has very fast transfer speeds. But both of those are my main storage drives for video archiving and everything like that. And I do have some videos on this content as well. I in the top right corner if you're interested. But it's mainly my basic storage array. Eventually, I want to build my own custom NAS whenever we get to the point where me and Jackson need to offer Load all our footage, but right now this works plenty for my 4K video. Now for the microphone of choice, I use the Blue Yeti, which really is a mic I'm going to be upgrading in the future as well. I want to go condenser very shortly, but right now this is what I can afford and I really don't see a need of going out and getting something else, but right now it does the job for my live streaming needs and basic voiceovers with a little bit of correction and audacity. Big thing right here that you all are probably looking at is these monitors. Now these monitors are both from Pixio. Pixio was nice enough to send both these monitors monitors out for review and I've been using them in my top-down monitor setup for the longest time well actually a couple months but this setup has been working great for me the very bottom monitor is the px 347 c from Pixio this is an ultra wide monitor at 100 Hertz review in the top right corner if you want to check that video out and the one above is the Pixio px 277 the brand new version which is a 1440p 144 Hertz monitor these two monitors together on a monitor arm which I did a top-down monitor arm review video as well ends up making a really productive setup it allows Allows me to have a gaming monitor on the top with 144 hertz and a middle monitor down at the bottom with a lot of screen real estate to do work like video editing and photo work and just whatever other work I want to do on this big monitor with a lot more screen real estate. So these two monitors in tandem really work perfect together. Now for peripherals, what we have right here, well there's my phone, is an iPhone 7 Plus if you're curious about what phone I use, iPhone 7 Plus. But as far as headphones go, I use the Audio-Technica M40Xs. I got these refurbed on Amazon for $79 and then bought a pair of these Brainwaves ear cups. These are very cushiony ear cups. While it gets rid of some of the bass that these headphones provide, it really does do a great job of making these headphones much more tolerable to wear because the stock ear cups are really uncomfortable in my opinion, and I just do not like wearing them at all. So I got these when I bought the headphones, and these really do make really awesome pair of headphones, and they're great for video editing to get that nice reference sound and listening to music too. They're actually very casually good to listen to, and a lot of people actually do recommend the M40Xs over the M50Xs for that very reason. I don't know why, but they just really do. I've looked at a lot of forums and a lot of audio files recommend these headphones. Moving over here, we now have my mouse mat, which is a Lyric HyperX extended mouse pad, which, yep, it's Lyric branded. I had to buy it, had to support my favorite streamer, and that's why that is there. And as far as mice go, we have the original MX Master, Great mouse, love this mouse so much. I really could not be any happier with it. It is honestly one of the best mice to use, especially the newer version now. You can get it for around the same price and you get some better functionality like being able to go across multiple PCs at one time. Highly recommend considering this mouse if you're a productivity user or productivity freak and want the most for your money. And then for gaming, I have a Razer Death Adder Chroma because gaming on the MX Master is really not that good. Having a secondary mouse for gaming is pretty much recommended when it comes to being able to play FPS shooters. And this mouse is a pretty decent mouse. I may upgrade it to something eventually because this thing is starting to wear off. I've already super glued them on multiple times, so it's definitely something that I will be looking into upgrading in the future. Now for the keyboard. I'm always swapping out keyboards because I'm always reviewing them. But the keyboard I have right now is the Max Keyboard Nighthawk RGB. BX. Now this does come with a custom Toasty Bros spacebar. If I zoom in here real quick, you can tell that we have a little Toasty Bros spacebar, which is actually really cool, along with a Toasty Bros logo at the very top. Let me get zoom in on that too. It is actually a really awesome keyboard and they sent it over for review a few months back and it uses Cherry MX Brown key switches and I really love this keyboard. It's honestly really awesome. I love the RGB and the only reason I'm using this keyboard over a keyboard I'm about to show you in just a minute is because I have a numpad. And with my live streams that I do, every single morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time, I really need a numpad to have a somewhat additional macro setup so I can do switching scenes compared to a 10 keyless keyboard, which I used to use, which I'll show you in just a second. And what I also have right here are some of the glorious PC Gamer Race wrist rests and mouse wrist rests. So both of these are really awesome to have for ergonomics because I'm on my PC all the time typing and doing work considering I do school work on my PC along with talency work, along with YouTube work, and then just basically casually hanging out as well. So I need to get the best ergonomics that I possibly can and having something like this does help a ton with wrist strain and I really do recommend you get something like this if you are on your PC a lot. 
Now this stuff right here is considered essential. This is just a shaker cup that I have for my energy drinks, but this is actually a Keurig. So I can make myself some coffee at my desk. Cause you know, sometimes you just need to get caffeinated when you're doing your work. And then this right here is my laptop. This is the original razor blade stealth. Now this laptop isn't great for gaming by any means. It's not meant to be a gaming laptop, but it is a great notebook. And what I have right here is the charging cord for it coming up from the very back. And I just keep it charged right here and just kind of slid right here, just hanging out. So whenever I need it, it's a grab and go type thing. Not the most elegant setup in the world, but it does work for me. And it's like my alternative to having somewhat of a charging dock. Now, as I mentioned before, I am using a two PC setup, mainly for my live streams. So I use the OBS NDI plugin, which basically transcodes a signal from your gaming PC and passes it over your network to another PC and allows the secondary PC to do all the work with encoding, which I've done multiple videos on the subject about if you wanna check it out on the channel. But in short, this PC rocks an i7-5820K and a GTX 1050. And this system's primary job is just to encode and live stream my footage up onto YouTube or whatever platform I'm streaming to. And for this setup, I just have a basic AOC monitor, which I used to have three of these in a triple monitor setup way back at the beginning of the channel before I upgraded monitors. And these displays have just lasted me years on years on years and does a good job of just displaying what I need to do. It's a 1080p 60 hertz display and it's really nothing special. Now that keyboard I mentioned that I really do adore and wish I could be using more often, which eventually I will get back to using once I get a better setup for macros, is this Waz Custom Keyboard, which actually has a bunch of nice key caps on it. It does come with some more Toasty Bros theme things and some artisan keycaps and it is Cherry MX Brown. I really love Cherry MX Browns. They are my preferred key switch of choice by far. They're not super tacky and clacky and all that sort of stuff and they do provide really good sound. Now over here, these are just some extra drawers of personal stuff. This is where I keep like tax information, a bunch of different papers and things like that. Those are more on the bottom drawers so I'm not gonna open that information up for obvious reasons. But up here what we have is basically just a bunch of other just like writing utensils utensils and things like that. The middle one is basically phone accessories, stickers, um, boxes for phones and things like that. This one right here is a bunch of fans. I keep a bunch of fans in here that we have from companies that sent them over, fans and some old power supplies. And then this one right here is basically hard drives and more fans and also some CPU coolers. But before I get out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a step back real quick and show you all one more good look at my setup. Now this setup is really awesome and oh, I do have a chair right here. This is the Maxonomic chair. They sent it over a while ago for a 24 hour live stream that we did like for Extra Life Charity, probably about two or three years ago now. And they gave us this chair as sort of like a good luck to you survival type thing. And they sent it over and I've been using it ever since. So it's a really awesome chair. I highly recommend it. But we also work with a company called OPC and Jackson uses one of their chairs also. And if you're interested in a chair like that, use code Toasty Bros to get 10% off. And I'll leave a link to that in the description down below and some footage right here of what the chair actually looks like. So that about wraps this video up here, guys. If you like this video, leave a big like down below and comment set up a game in the comment section down below if you made it this far. I'm slowly losing my voice by talking throughout this video, which is kind of a sad thing. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. All the parts I will try to leave in the description down below. I'll try to get as many as I can. I may forget some, and if I do, comment in the comment section and I'll try to provide a link for you to pick one up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for my setup, comment them down below. And if you're new to here, be sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, all that sort of fun stuff, and I hope to see you all in the next video, guys. Peace out.